This video is part of South of the Sahara, a collaboration of several history YouTubers participating in a collective attempt to spread and promote African history in a largely positive and interesting light as a direct and imposing contradiction to the usual portrayals of African history, which are largely in the context of negativity and victimization. Please see the link in the description for this video for the complete playlist. On July 20th, 1779, Tekle Georgis I, meaning the plant of St. George, became emperor of Ethiopia, a member of the Solomonic dynasty of Ethiopia. Between ascending to the throne on this day and June of 1800, he would five more times be named emperor, having lost his status each time previously for a total of six stints as emperor, probably a world record for times any person became emperor. <laughs> As you probably guessed already from the name of the dynasty the Ethiopian emperor supposedly descended from, it is the same Solomon one finds in the Bible, the son of King David of the Israelites, the one that slew Goliath. Ethiopians claim their emperors descended directly from Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, the first of these Solomonic emperors being Menelik I, who reigned in the 10th century BC. According to Ethiopian tradition, the Queen of Sheba was Makeda, an Ethiopian woman. Note, absolutely no definitive evidence from an archaeological or historical standpoint exists for the existence of David, Solomon, the Queen of Sheba, or Manilik I. The first reign of Tekle Georgis I lasted from his coronation in 1779 until possibly 1784, when warlords were warring over control of Ethiopia. April of 1788 saw Tekle Georgis I regain his throne in spite of two pretenders contesting his right to the throne. By July of 1789, Tekle Georgis I once again lost his throne in a chaotic year that saw five different emperors in Ethiopia. Not to be dismayed or discouraged, Tekle Georgis I seized his throne back in 1794 for a third reign this time lasting only until April of 1795. By December of 1795, guess who was back? Yes, it was Tekle Georgis I, once again emperor, but only until April of 1796. The fifth go-around for this indomitable monarch was from January of 1798 and lasted until May of 1799, at least this time for over a year. The sixth and final term as emperor for Tekle Georgis I ran from March of 1800 until June of 1800 when he was once again deposed. Tekle Georgis I died in 1817 at the age of 66, reportedly of natural causes, and he had never stopped trying to reclaim his throne. His last bid for his old job came at the hands of Roswold Selassie, regent of the Ethiopian Empire from 1788 to 1816, whom Tekle Georgis I had hoped would restore him to the throne. But Roswold Selassie refused to help the former six-time emperor, and there would be no seventh term. If any of our readers know of a monarch that had six separate terms on the throne of a country, kingdom, or empire, please let us know. Meanwhile, we assume Tekle Georgis I is the record holder. Note, the last Ethiopian emperor was Ama Selassie, who reigned from 1974 to 1975, the son of the more famous Haile Selassie, also known as Rastafari. Also, the death of Empress Zutatu of Ethiopia on April 2, 1930, made her the last, most recent, Empress Regnant in world history. As a question for my students and subscribers, who was the greatest emperor or empress in Ethiopia's history? Please let us know in the comments section below this video. Once again, this video is part of South of the Sahara, a collaboration of several history YouTubers participating in a collective attempt to spread and promote African history in a largely positive and interesting light as a direct and imposing contradiction to the usual portrayals of African history, which are largely in the context of negativity and victimization. Please see the link in the description for this video for the complete playlist. If you like this video, and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines and become one of our patrons. Your viewership is much appreciated.